always wipe down the coffee machine once you finish making coffee. It's one of my golden rules in the house. Otherwise, you just end up with a really dirty coffee machine. Now, today I'm in one of those days where I've got loads of admin to do. I've got all kinds of international trips coming up um, where I'm gonna have to go away for photo shoots, shooting all kinds of stuff from um, what the Americans call soccer. So I'm over there for a bit shooting some, um, some uh, matches and I'm, I've got loads of hospitality stuff and all kinds of things to do as well as some landscape trips coming up as well to the Hebrides and I've got loads of planning to do, loads of things that need to be sorted. And so as usual, when I've got a lot of admin to do, I spend most of my time looking at camera lenses <laughs> and buying cameras and, and camera lenses and you know, thinking what am I going to need for trips and just it just gets you in that kind of place of thinking, you know, um, what can I buy? And today, I've been slightly surprised at myself where I've been having a look at some of my cameras and thinking, I've ended up, and I'm happy about this, but it's a strange thing to, to have kind of place to have got to, where I've ended up in a place where I'm actually, I've gone from being really keen to have cameras like this one, which is the uh, Pentax K1000, you know, that looks beautiful. I mean, it's a lovely camera. And I've always been really into cameras that kind of felt soulful, that I thought, you know, these were cameras that made me feel like I was, you know, really want to get out there and take shots. It kind of gets into your nostalgic side, you know, like this kind of thing does. The six by seven Bronica, you know, it's got something about it which just makes you want to get out there and shoot. It's beautiful. It's not practical. Imagine, that, imagine taking that on a commercial shoot these days. Um, but look at it. It's a thing of beauty. You can either have it on your shelf, on the mantelpiece, or you can use it. It's that kind of thing. Whereas this is my main, my main cameras now. They're this. They're kind of workhorses. They're fabulous. But they're not as beautiful as the old-fashioned cameras. And it just made me think, you know, and this is lovely, you know, it's all blacked out, it looks cool. But it just made me think, how important is it to you? And how important is it these days to have cameras which... Sorry, I just hit my mic. To have cameras that are kind of nostalgic and retro in their style. You know, I've been having a look at a few Fujifilm X-T1s, and in fact, there's an X-T1 out there. If you're someone like me looking for an X-T1, I found one that's only had 201 shots taken so far. I mean, it's mint, mint, mint condition, and I'm just considering it at the moment. It's quite expensive, so I'm not sure. Um, but if you don't care about money, then you've got some money. There's one out there, which, um, you know, go search for it, 201 actuations which is pretty bonkers um, but you know you look at the X-T5 you know it still looks like a brilliant camera it still looks like the X-T1 it's got that beautiful feel yet it still will do a great job commercially you know so how important is it to you how important is it to me I don't know I haven't decided you know there's something about the my Lumixes at the moment where the function is better than the form and actually, function is what I really need. You know, the speedy autofocus and the great resolution and the small camera, you know, those things are actually, in the end, more important than the way a camera looks for my own commercial work. Um, but then do I add a little X-T5 in the mix just for the fun, <laughs> you know, and have it in my camera bag just for those nostalgic moments? I don't know, I'm thinking. But um, it's quite an interesting thought, you know, how important are these things? And uh, I don't know, I'm still thinking. Anyway, this is one of those videos where I'm, I should be working, I should be sat there. <laughs> I've got loads to do, so I better get on with it. But I thought while I was making my coffee, I would just say hi and tell you what's in my brain today. Um, yeah, so uh, let me know what you think. See you soon.